right, five minutes after nine o'clock, it's pouring out there. Jim George is in the studio, Professor Gadget. He's here to answer our questions about our gadgets and technology and cable and and everything like that. Good morning, Jim. How you doing? Fine, thank you. And the thought for today is if you don't need to go out, don't. So if you don't need to go out, don't. Yeah. Yeah. It's a it's a rainy. I'm rainy. having a good time using technology to look at the uh, the, the cities that are expected to be hit by yes. this blizzard. Right. I heard you this morning say something. You're looking at Ground Zero in Washington D.C. <laughs> right. 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 Yeah. Well, this on Earthcam.com they have these webcams, and you can look at live video feeds of different places yes, yes. And, and they cater to what's happening in the world mm-hmm. so they have a special link right now for the blizzard locations right you click on it and so far nothing there's no blizzard anywhere yet but well, it's probably started here and moving north <laughs> <laughs> yeah yeah we, we're getting it it's ours is the liquid blizzard Man, yeah look at this uh-huh. yeah it's, the sun will never come out today have you it, it, you lived in boone right uh, so, yes yes so did you ever get 20 foot drifts of snow no uh, two and three as a matter of fact my daughter went online yesterday she's staying with us right now and she's living in Boone and and it said uh, two foot of snow drift wow today. but 20 foot drift I know it's hard to imagine 20, that's t- the mall it's 20 feet tall right <laughs> Yes. Or is that 30 feet? Is that more uh, like? Still, 20 feet is uh, bigger than... And it's it's, it's, it's a two-story high. building, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Two story building. Your whole building is gone. Your whole home is, uh, is underneath snow, yeah. Then, mm-hmm. right? Yeah, I spent a year in, in uh, Chicago and uh, going to college, and uh, we would we couldn't get out our front door of our university. We had to slide out of the second-story building. <laughs> no way. So wow. Yeah, it, was it was so... I believe that, It was yeah. packed enough you could slide. Right. You didn't just because fall the through wind, it? You know, the wind blows the snow. It's a snow drift. Yeah, I know, Against the front of the building, all the way up to the second story. <laughs> So it makes it like ice. Right. So what yeah. we do is we slide down, and then we get our shovels, and oh, we have to man. dig the entrance way out so people can get in. <laughs> oh, cool. I would be afraid I'd fall through the snow and not slide down the snow. I'd be afraid of the big, big hole or straight to the, <laughs> straight to the grass. Well, they, they had these little toboggan-type things. In other words, uh, even though you're jumping and landing, you're jumping at an angle and a force, a, a, mo- a forward motion. Oh, okay. Mm-hmm. So, but it's fun. We used to hook onto the bumper of a car when it would go by and let them take us down the road and then let go and <laughs> slide I've known people road. that did that. It sounds yeah. fun, but, you know, it sounds dangerous. Oh, very dangerous. dangerous oh, too. Yeah, well, yeah, that yeah. was years ago, though. It's not like Broken yeah. arms. You know. So Robin, Robin lived on the edge of uh, Lake Michigan. Oh. And yeah. uh, did it ever freeze to the point we could walk on it oh yes oh yeah yeah. Yeah. yep and there there are those huge huge ice caves out there they're like uh, about a mile and a half out and in the winter time you know the yeah the 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 park rangers will go out there to make sure the ice is good and then the people will walk out there and go into these ice caves Uh, my cousins did it last year and it's absolutely gorgeous what are they made out of It's all ice. You mean you mean the, the like the the waves the and when when they and the waves oh, so and all when they crest, oh my they make goodness. these huge caves and then the the rangers check them out and then people will go out there. It's, it's a mile and a half to two miles walk one way, and you go out there oh, and gosh. you just it's beautiful, absolutely You've outstanding. I've not done it, but I've seen the pictures that my cousin sent. And last year was a, another year they went absolutely outstanding. Unbelievable. I'd yeah. like to see that. No, severe weather. you got to stay indoors today, for sure. Yeah, I even called my daughter, who work, who's our office manager, and said, if you don't need to come in today, don't come in today. There's no need to run, drive through this, drive back, just to post something. You this know. is severe weather, yes. Because we answer the phone. Uh, it's, it's transferred to her cell phone. Mm-hmm. That's, yeah. Oh, good. Yeah. Good. So the phone rings, we answer. No need to be in the present. Hey, I brought in some walkie-talkies this morning. You did? Only because um, we talk about the Christmas gadgets. Yeah. So mm-hmm. someone may have received a pair of walkie-talkies for Christmas. How far can those go? He's they, got a toilet. Um, actually, yeah. He's walking now, you don't see that every phone. day. No, that's From something you don't see every day. I mean, well, you got to go. you got to go. But, <laughs> but, but He's got his you, own toilet. <laughs> you carry your own toilet. <laughs> <laughs> for those who don't understand what's going on, you better explain. <laughs> well, there was a guy walking past the window holding a toilet. Yeah. Don't, don't know why, why or and how. And he was yeah. exiting the mall, so I wonder. Wow. <laughs> I just got a special on toilet somewhere. <laughs> well, we use these on construction sites. We give one to each of the people, and we all put them on the same channel. Channel It'll go up to channel 8, so channel 2, 3, 4, and so on and so forth. Right. And then. Um, how far do they break? They'll go very far. For instance, in an open area like the uh, mall, yeah, it'll go from end to end. And in an area like uh, the parking lot, it'd probably go. Uh, over to, I Wal- love to, to, to Walmart, easily to Walmart. Wow. Yeah. And so um, 
when, you know, when, we, when the kids were younger, we used to give them a set of these, and they would take them with them when they were in the mall. And if we wanted them, we would just click on it and say, you know, where are you now? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And they'd yeah. say, oh, I'm over at Radio Shack, or I'm over at T- TJ Maxx, or wherever they're at. And uh, then we'd go find them. They left them all through our TJ Maxx. Bring, bring them back. Well, I'm just <laughs> different mall. <laughs> Not this mall. They walked across the street. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, walkie-talkies are really fun. They are. Is it a guy thing? Do girls like walkie-talkies, Robin? Yeah, I think they do. Yeah, yeah, we like walkie-talkies, yeah. but you had fun with Alex when you had your walkie-talkies. You yeah, walked down to the did. grocery store, and then you'd talk But they weren't other. that powerful. I mean, Jim seemed more powerful. Oh, no, these are very powerful. These are molar rollers, and uh, they're like $49. You can get them anywhere. You can get them at Walmart. You can get them uh, probably Best Buy. Um, on sale, you might get them for like $32. But uh, they're very powerful, and they do have a great range, depending upon the channel you're on. Mm-hmm. Um, it's the same frequency, but certain channels are more congested than other channels. Yeah. It would be easier for me to use those to talk to somebody where I want to find them than to sit there and text on my cell phone. Exactly. Mm-hmm. It, it, it takes less time I think to you're push right. a button it and It costs talk. nothing, too. Also, it doesn't take yeah. you. Yeah. Ready for the phone? I'm ready for Oops. the phone. Good morning. You're on the air with Jim George. Yeah, good morning, everybody. Hey. Hey, Robin, Robin's going to remember how terrible it was when you got snowed in and you were at the tavern. You had to spend a couple of days there. A tavern. <laughs> tavern. <laughs> yeah. That Call was, home and say, was, honey, I can't uh, leave. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, okay. The, the, the real reason I called is that uh, you hear all this talk and stuff about, hey, you got to buy that big flat screen, large TV set for the Super Bowl game. Uh, you get the best deal before the game or you get the best deal – uh, during the game or the best deal after the game. What's what's your take on that? I'm, I'm not a technology pusher in the sense that, um, you know, there's drug pushers and then there's technology <laughs> pushers. Yeah. Um, yes, if are. you have a TV set and it's convenient for you, like for years we had a 55-inch uh, TV, my wife and I, a Zenith, that was great color, still a, still a great color. And um, it, it was a, a CRT, you know, cathode ray tube. And uh, finally, we decided to go ahead and get a 65-inch flat screen. If you have a flat screen now, and, and I don't know what, whether it's 42, 55, 65, you don't need to keep upgrading to the latest and greatest. Um, it's going to change about every 18 months in the TV world. They have curved screens now. Have you seen the curved screen? Yes. And uh, that's supposed to give you the sense of surround. Yeah, I don't think it does, but uh, <laughs> the bottom line is, your, your question is, I'm going closer. to buy one anyway. Can you tell me what's the best time to buy it? Is that the question? Yeah, right. You, you hear all the talk about you know getting a, getting one before the big Super Bowl. You get the best deal, or you, you shouldn't. You should wait till afterwards. Um, I haven't seen the ads as such that depict that, but uh, I tell you what I do, and uh, my wife does it better than I do. I find something I want, and then I go online and find a price on it. I don't care if it's Amazon, where it is. And then I go into Sears. Mm-hmm. And I tell Sears what I want, and here's what I want to pay. And they work with me, and they give me the best price. Really? Yep. Yeah, whether it's a refrigerator or whatever, I just, we beat up on Maybe Sears. Maybe that's what this guy did with the toilet. Yeah. It could be. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, somebody beat up on something, yeah. <laughs> So to answer your question, if you see something you like and, it, and it's got a decent price, just call up the company you, you like to shop with, whether it's Walmart or whether it's Sears or wherever it is. We're not pushing any one store. And uh, yeah. just say, I can get this over here at this price. Can you match that? Yeah. Well, the thought, the thought was that somebody was saying that they're trying to get rid of all the older models and they're really making a big deal that you got to have it for the Super Bowl game and all that. And uh, if you wanted to buy last year's model, now's the time to do it. If not, wait till after the Super Bowl game, and then uh, all the new models will be out. Do you have a large screen now? Uh, yes, I do, two of them. Okay, are they uh, LCDs or LEDs? LEDs. Okay, they're LEDs. Yes. Okay. Are you happy with them? Oh, yeah. I, I'm not really in the market for a set. I'm just... I had a friend of mine call me and says, I'm thinking about buying a new TV set for for a Super Bowl game. And I says, well, geez, I've been hearing a lot of stuff that sometimes it's not the best time to buy one. Timing-wise, I really can't respond to. Like I said, I'm not one of those guys that keeps my finger on the pulse of advertisers and what they do. But technology-wise, there's nothing really new under the sun when it comes to TVs right now. 
There really isn't. You, the only thing that's really to... new is is black screen. In other words, oh. um, the TV. Uh, what what happens is you used to project onto a white wall. Remember those days when you're in school, you projected onto a white board or something. Mm -hmm. Now that the latest and greatest is you protect you project onto a black screen. So they have TVs now that have the deepest darkest black there is, and so the picture just bounces off the TV. I mean, just it's super bright. So yeah. you have I, something. I, I know uh, watching prices. I know the. Uh, the uh, the super high high definite uh, uh, definition uh, TVs are, are really dropped in price from about a year ago. Yes. Well, now they have the 4K coming out, and that's one of the reasons why. The 4K okay, is four. Lot. All right. Thank you. Thank you. All right, we need to take a little break, and we'll be right back. Jim George is here. He's educating us, as always, about gadgets and technology and uh, weather apps and things like that. We'll yep, take we'll take a little apps. break and be, be right back. So you're using your apps. The weather is brought to you by MyFWC.com. Safe boating is no accident. Clouds on the increase in this Friday. Showers and thunderstorms around, especially during the late morning and afternoon hours. It can produce flooding downpours, damaging wind gusts, maybe even an isolated tornado. The high today, 68 to 72. Partly to mostly cloudy Friday night and turning cooler lows in the 40s to around 50. Saturday will be a windy, cool day with clouds and some sun highs, generally in the 50s. Sunday, mostly sunny, high 54 to 58. From the Florida Weather Center, I'm Joe Lundberg. That was the sound of a tree falling. It could be your tree. You're going to have it trimmed, but never got around to calling Pride Tree Service. It could have fallen in a field, and now all you have to do is call Pride Tree Service, and they'll have it quickly out of the way for a great price. But don't wait until the tree falls. It may not fall in the field. It may hit your car, your house, or worse. So call Pride Tree Service today and avoid all those headaches before they happen. Pride Tree Service, 840-0750. That's 840-0750. Here's what you may have missed on the John Tesh Radio Show. Common wisdom suggests we all want partners who are healthy and in shape, but less than one out of ten men and women said they'd actually dump somebody who was too athletic, likely because the perfect physique could signal a vanity problem. Like when you see a friend laughing or crying and you start to laugh or cry too. And now it's been proven, dogs have emotional contagion too. Just the sight of devices like Nest Cam and Piper are often enough to scare off crooks who don't want to be caught on camera. Intelligence for your life on the John Tesh Radio Show. Don't miss this stuff. Stay informed on everything going on in the villages with the Village Spectator newspaper. The Village Spectator is exclusively devoted to the villages with news, commentary, and more. And yes, they have Tom's Picks, a free referral for people who are looking for a company to do work for them. Tom's Picks will refer the company that fits your needs, and all we ask is that you tell them where you heard about them. Call Tom's Picks at 804-1223 and pick up your copy of the Village Spectator today. Now read Ocala Downtown Newspaper Online. Career Source Citrus Levy Marion brings together business and community partners, economic development leaders, and educational providers to connect employers with qualified, skilled talent, and job seekers with employment and career development opportunities. Tune in the first and third Wednesday of each month at 9:30 a.m. to Career Source Citrus Levy Marion and learn how they can help you. Located next door to Silver Spring State Park and a few minutes from historic downtown Ocala, our award-winning Holiday Inn Express Hotel and Suites of Silver Springs is a place to stay for a friendly, memorable, and fun experience. Enjoy our fast and free Wi-Fi, complimentary hot breakfast, and free parking. Whether you're in town for work or play, our friendly staff will make you feel right at home. That's the Holiday Inn Express and Suites of Silver Springs. Proud sponsor of Friday Night Marion County High School Football on WOCA. All right, 19 source. minutes after. After 9 o'clock, thank you for tuning in. 63 degrees, and it looks like it's stopping the raining right now. The sun's peering. Yeah, it's not too bad looking right now. So, But cold temperatures following the rain. Oh, yeah. boy. Let's go back to the phone and uh, say good morning. You're on the air with Jim George. Good morning. Jim, I have a tablet, about an eight and a half. I don't guess that matters. But what is the best way to learn how to use it? When you go into classes... It's like they know everything and they can't get on your level. Yeah. Yeah. Where's the best place to go to learn? There's several places. The the first, my wife had one, and I taught. Where, uh, and it could have been given to you as a gift, or you could have purchased it. But if you go into any store that sells tablets, like uh, Best Buy, um, 
but they, that's actually where I got it. Okay. They will take the time and they will teach you the basics of it. Here's how you can add an app. Here's how you can do this. And that will make you feel so good that you can do these few things. And then the next thing I would do is YouTube. Um, you get to YouTube and you type in the tablet you have, model so-and-so, whatever it is, and how to. And they are so patient. They will tell you everything on how to turn it on, how to move your finger to get the best results from your screen, what to clean it with, everything. Wow. And you can stop well, and no, pause. Yeah, mine is out of date. I mean, Makes no difference. As as the the, the older, better, the better. Yeah. yeah, the older, the better, because that way a YouTube has been done on it already. Huh, yeah. A new one, someone may not have had the experience yet to do a YouTube on it. I mean, just myself the other day, I had to do a phone system for a, a commercial development that wanted like nine lines hooked up all to the same number. Well, from just huh. being a technology geek that I am, I know that there's a certain number of limits that a, that a phone will ring because there's only so much voltage coming through the phone line to ring those phones. So I went to YouTube. I found a company. Uh -huh out of New York and they sat down and, t and asked me the certain model number and everything you know, you know it's all a video I typed it in and it came up and told me that my limit was seven phones so I wow. hooked up the seven phones called it it rang but I hooked up the eighth just to see what would happen <laughs> and it rang kind of sick so instead of going like ring ring it went you know <laughs> so wow. yeah it, you know you get all the information you want on on the YouTube video well, thank you very much. You're welcome. And I love your suggestion about just going to the geek guys at, at a, 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 an electronic store. We, we mentioned right. Best Buy, and that's my choice. But, yeah. but those guys really are really good. They are. So uh, we, we gave away those two big TVs. Yes, you did. And, and I was thinking, if you wanted a TV, is anybody giving them away right now? There's a website called stuff.tv slash win. Hmm. They're giving away all kinds of gadgets. I just, wow. just kind of Googled it real quick. So Stuff. Gap stuff dot TV oh stuff dot TV slash win and there's a bunch of contests where you can, you can win a smartwatch you can win phones you can win stereos you can result but, but of course you're up sure. against the thousands of other people of trying course. to win them also. of course of course well gadgetry is is uh, is not a time saver. I mean, we talk about time saver. In other words, you get the, you go from, you get a toaster, but instead of a toaster, you get a little small toaster oven now, and you, and you, you think about all these time savers. And then if you have like every time saver known to man, a microwave, you name it, do you really have any more time? You, you know, you're. You, well, we do, but I, I think we get impatient quickly. I, I think that's part of it too. Like so we, these these we, gadgets do the same thing; they rob us of time. How many people have you seen just standing oh, at a park bench yeah, yeah, and they're yeah. moving their finger on their I screen? Know. And they're, oh, yes. I mean, they could be walking to their car, but they're not. They're, they're stopping. They're, they're not sit because they want to do this or want to do uh -huh. that. It is interesting, isn't it? There's a world around them that they're not looking at. My daughter will drive to our house. Let's say it's Christmas Day, and we want her to be there at 11 so she can help prepare the food and so on and so forth. We'll call her and say, where are you at? You're supposed to be here. It's like 12 o'clock. Oh, I've been in the driveway. <laughs> <laughs> she drove into the driveway, parked, no way. parked the car, and she's on her cell oh, phone, no. and, you know, looking up this and texting people, and everything. <laughs> I mean, it, it it really robs you of time. It's you, it, uh, you know, there are whole classes on how to uh, back away from technology. Mm -hmm. They have these month long or week long places where you go and you have to leave your cell phone at home. It's probably a video for that too. <laughs> but, yeah. We need an AA for uh, cell phone users. Yes, an now. AA for Gee. cell phone. But don't tell the guy from Verizon. <laughs> <laughs> What's his name, Mark? Is that his name? No, Matt. 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 Yeah. I mean, he's a smart guy. Boy, that guy, he knows his cell phones. He yeah, does. He All does. I do is turn it on and call somebody. That's it, you know? <laughs> yeah, but you're smart in the um, audio tech world with TV and everything like that, Jim, and computers. I have a phone call. Good morning. Uh, you're on the air with Jim. Uh, good morning, Jim. Yes. Uh, technology is fantastic. Uh, we were possibly thinking of buying a car, and some of these cars, or most, most of them, have the backup camera. Yes. And... Uh, to me, the biggest thing with that is I prefer to have the little larger screen than the small screen. When you look at that small screen, you feel like you're looking through a keyhole. Isn't that the truth? But the, uh, the thing is, uh, like with pairing your phone to, the, uh, to the, the smartphone that's in the car. Yes. And, and all this other stuff. Is this designed where it can be repaired or... The uh, various uh, thing can be replaced. 
Replaced, yes. Prepared, no. Yeah. I mean, uh, think about it. If you have a if you have a radio it has an AM FM radio and it goes bad, who are you going to take it to? <laughs> Nobody. Well, I guess you got to go over the the dealer or or somebody. Yeah, they'll just pull that out and send it away and give you a new one. <laughs> Probably. Yeah. I, know, I really don't know how that works. I know some of the older cars years ago when I used to do a lot of my own stuff. You could literally just take it out of the dash. Yes. You either go to a radio. Sh- well. With Scientific America or something. Yes, like yes. Stores. Yep. And you can go there, and, and uh, they would fix it, and then you could stick it back in yourself. Yes. I Those days are gone. Those days today. are gone. But anyway, the cars cost more than my first two houses. But you got to pay attention to the technology. Let me give you, for instance, one of my partners in my one of my cable systems has a car. It's got a backup camera, and it has a little beeper radar that tells you when you're too close. Uh-huh. So he's backing up, and it starts to beep. Well, he looks, and he can see my car, and he knows he's at least 12, 14 feet away. So why is the world, is, is the radar beeping when he, you know, the camera shows? Anyway, he backs up and hits my trailer. Oh, oh no. no. The trailer yeah. was lower than what the camera could see. Oh, okay. So trust the technology. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. Geez. If it yeah. beeps, get uh, out and look. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Good point. Yeah. I still look. Yeah. Uh. But anyway, uh, thank you very much. Have a great weekend. Uh, you and too. The sun is out where I am. Yeah, it's starting to come out. There you go. Looks nice. Have a good day. Thank everybody. you. Thank, thank you. you. Yeah, What's the radar showing? Is the radar showing like on weather, AccuWeather or whatever? Is it? Uh, are we in one of those little lull spots? Are I, we in? I will do that right now, but first we have a phone call. Good thank morning. You. You're on there with Jim. Uh, good morning, Jim. Good morning, Doug. <laughs> uh, I just wanted to find out from you. Uh, my laptop is getting, let's say, uh, the, uh, my friend Larry uh, showed me how to do that, uh, the brightness and the darkness. Yes. And I tried to do that, and it never happens. Well, you you, you have to save what you do, too. So what, when you go to power settings, like in your control panel, and you want it more brighter or more darker or, or you want it to shut off when you close the lid or you don't want it to shut off when you close all, all of those when you're done if you don't hit save or apply and then you get out of it nothing you've done works so you, you just got to make sure that after you do the settings you like you apply them okay thank you you're welcome any other advice for, any other advice for Doug any other advice for Doug? <laughs> yes, Doug. Yes. Doug, you, you, Doug, you may need to wear some glasses to make sure you can see the screen better. Uh, I do. Okay. <laughs> Larry went through this. Server's been all done, Doug. It's sitting on my desk. I got to bring it in here. <laughs> it's Thank in my Doug. way. I got to bring it in. Thank you, Doug. Thank you, Doug. All right. Goodbye. <laughs> All right, let me see the the, 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 the <laughs> guys got me. So. You're the you're the expert, though. Uh, you see, sorry, <laughs> we're we're not. <laughs> well, when it comes to computers, I am really a dunce. My wife says I know more than her, but I see her. She has her own website. She she posts. I mean, she does everything. Uh, it, she only calls on me when she can't get it to work or fix or something, and then I'm just a trial and error guy. You know, <laughs> yes. this doesn't work, try that. That doesn't work, try this. Yet my IT guys, that you know, when, when we say bring your laptops in or, your, or we can come to you and fix your computers, those guys are something else. I mean, they know mm-hmm. everything about computers. There is to know. Um, I just know a, a, a little bit when it comes to computers. Jim, we're out of time. We got 22 seconds left, and oh. yes, you're right. We're in, a, in a, we're in between two blotches of, of rain. So yeah. there is another one coming. I can see the dark clouds coming <laughs> behind yeah. you. <laughs> All right, uh, thank you, Jim. What's your phone number? You can call me at eight five four. 97.95. All right. Get your computer fixed over <laughs> at you. Jim's at uh, Media in Motion. We'll take a little break. Be right back. <laughs> Fox News Radio. I'm Lillian Wu. Airlines already canceling flights ahead of the storm expected to slam the East Coast this weekend, though this man in Philadelphia isn't betting on sometimes it. Sometimes they get it right, sometimes they get it wrong. So I'm not convinced. States of emergency in effect in several states and D.C. North Carolina Governor Pat McCrory says he's hoping for the best but taking extra precautions. We have also issued executive order that waives the usual hour and wait restrictions for truck drivers responding to the storm. 
This is particularly important to power restoration companies, essential agricultural operations, and fuel supplies. Traffic isn't the only problem. A mixture of sleet and freezing rain could pose a risk of weighing down branches and power lines, causing them to break. Fox's Jonathan Sari, North Korea announcing the arrest of an American student, it says, for hostile acts, and world markets up across the board. Fox News, we report, you decide. You appreciate the feeling of a clean, smooth shave from a quality blade. So why are you messing around with generic razors that cost 32 bucks for an 8-pack when you can shave with Harry's high-quality German-engineered blades for half the price? Harry's will give you their starter set.